What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today we're doing round two of the Pokemon 2010 World decks. In our left, we have Gyarados playing by Kenton Anderson. As you see on the right, I am actually playing the Jump Club deck. Now we saw that round one that Kenton actually won the first game with his Gyarados deck. He actually made a pretty cool comeback. I think it was like two to six, maybe, maybe a little bit less than that. But I think I had one prize card left, and uh, yeah, it was a pretty good game. I just kind of messed up with not mass or not mass attacking um it's second attack i can't remember right now which basically prevents 30 damage all right so we saw a mulligan here and i do get to go first because i did lose so. i'm right, looking at all the cards in my hand trying to decide which one i want to put down all right so six prizes each oh leaf guard that's what the second text called so i think it's unknown q and unknown r here with yuxi set up for seven get a hop it down now, I can't unknown R here if I want to. Is that unknown? I think it's unknown R. I know the active thing is a Q because that's for your tree cost. So, now on the kit stand, we see a Felicities. Um, discard two cards, draw four, or discard one, draw three. So, we see him discard a B. Is that a BTS? I'm not really sure what that was. A BTS and a Poke Turn. And here we see. Uh, I think he's using the first attack to draw as many cards. For each head's draw card. I think we saw three heads there. Kind of flipped too fast for me to see what was happening there. But here I get a Claydol. Now Claydol has the power of Cosmic Power. Shuffle two bottom card or shuffle two cards or put two cards from your hand on the bottom of the deck and draw. You have six. It's a pretty cool setup card here. Now I get the broken time space out. Now this basically lets you skip a stage or it just lets you go straight from Hop It to Skip Loop to Jump Loop without rare canning, without having to wa wasting turns. So you can automatically evolve your Pokemon, which is pretty cool. So I get another Hop It down. Uh, unknown R. Now Unknown R says once you, you discard it and you draw a card. Here we see Unknown Q. Go to the bench and attach to a Claydol. Now somebody asked me before why did I attach it to the Claydol. And so he just has one less retreat cost. So that way he only has to attach one energy dex retreat. Because he does have a two retreat cost. Uh, Unknown R says your Pokemon has one less retreat cost. So that's so why I put in the Claydol because that's two. Everybody else has one. So we don't see me get a skip loom or a jump buff or an energy in play either. So that's pretty bad there. Here I'm discussing with Jared to kind of decide what to do. Here we see a Pokemon collector from Kenton uh, getting a Magikarp, Magikarp, and I think it's a Regice. Yep, there's Regice. All right, so Regice says discard a card from your hand. If you do, your opponent switches his basic active Pokemon with somebody else. Or two. So it's two. So I get to switch whoever I want to. Trying to decide who I want to switch up. I guess I bring up the Yuxi, because if he has the knockout here, it'd be pretty scary. I think right now he's only doing 60, though, so I'm not really sure why it's in the Yuxi. I guess so maybe I can start doing um Psychic Return. Pretty good at the stacks card. It does like 20 or 30, and you put Yuxi and all cards attached to the bottom of your deck. Here we see a Pokemon Communication. This actually is legal right now in our format. Put a Pokemon from your hand into your deck and get search deck for Pokemon here, get the Red Candy Jump Love. Here we see a Cosmic Power, put two on the bottom of the deck, draw to have six. Now I see another Claydol on there, so I can get another Claydol on if I want to. There we see a Claydol come down. Now the question is, where do I attach the energy? I guess it's going to the Yuxi. Here we see another Cosmic Power. Here we see Pokemon Communication again. Probably get a Skip Loom here. Yeah, get a Skip Loom. Trying to load up multiple Jump Loops here. Get multiple Jump Loops in play. So Now the question is, who do I send up here? Um, so we see the Psychic Restore. I think that's what it's called. And I just send up the Hop It. That's uh, going to get knocked out. Or er, I'm going to send it for Knockout. Because, oh, the bad thing here is Kitten can use actually Red Ice's attack. Or ability to actually bring up somebody. I think it's a power. I think it's red, so it's power. Um, where's that a bit? Poke Power. I can't remember right now. Alright. <laughs> I think it's a power, actually. But here we see Red Eyes thing using, going on. So I actually have to switch to Hop It with a Skip Loom. Because I get to choose who comes up. And I'd rather get that Skip Loom knocked out than a Clay Doll. So. Let's see here. Now, Kitten can knock out the Skip Loom because he's doing 90. Uh, Gyarados has attack called Tail Revenge. It does 30 times the amount of Magic Carpets in the Discard Pile. It does not require energy either, so that's why we see him attacking with no energy. Here I send him the Jump Love. Now, Jump Love has mass attack. It does 10 damage for the amount of Pokemon in play on both sides of the field. Um, here's the Unknown R. Plus Power. Plus Power does 10 more damage to the active. 
You receive cosmic power for six. Now we're doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're doing 80 right now. We're doing 90. And here I see a judge. Now judge says each opponent shuffles their hand into a deck and draws until they have four cards. Now, this card was pretty funny back in the day because you would say judge and sometimes the judges would be confused and be like, be like, are you calling the judges using the supporter? So, I don't know, it was always fun to mess with judges back then. Alright, but I think I have a second cosmic power here. That's what we see me doing. So here's second cosmic power. I get the energy. Um, did I evolve? I guess I evolved into Skip Bloom. I don't think I cheated. I, don't, I didn't see like Oh, I had the red candy. It happened so fast. Unknown R, unknown R. Start doing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10, wait. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, we're only doing 9. So only does 100 to 10 here. I need in the expert belt. Expert belt gives them 20 more HP, does 20 more damage. And you. When your opponent knocks it out, he actually takes another prize card. Here we use Night Maintenance to get back 3 unknown R's. Just to get him back into the deck so that way I can drop him later to draw the deck draw through the deck faster. Here we see a Yixi for one. Just trying to dig for that plus power. And uh yeah, we see a knockout here. Now, what I should have done here was actually uh leaf guarded. I think it's called leaf guard. It does 30 damage and your opponent does 30 damage less. So that way the Gyarados won't knock me out. I actually only do 60. Now this is a mistake because I'm not really that advanced with these decks. But I, I know what most of them do. I'm just not really that advanced. Now we see he can't drop the Sableye. And the reason why he does this is because there's some way I can get like, I don't know, some crazy turn. And I'm able to knock out his Gyarados. And there's, he can't just lose because I don't. he doesn't have another Pokemon. But here we see a Jump Up comes to the active spot. On an R, draw a card. Um, there we see a Hop at Skip Loom. And I guess a judge, we're both shuffling our hands right now, so. What do I need here? So we're doing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we're doing 80 right now, which only brings him to 100. And he has 130 HP. So we need to do uh, a little bit more damage. Not enough right now. Here we see Cosmic Power for a full 6 cards here. Still digging for that one Muscle Band. Or not Muscle Band, Expert Belt. And the cool thing about Expert Belt is too, because uh, the Expert Mike's aware can't, can't knock me out either, because he can only do 60 to me. So That's another cool thing. We can set for our two turns. But we see another Night Maintenance. I think we had a 1-1-1 uh, hop a jump off skip loom line going in. I think I said that wrong. <laughs> the wrong order. But here we see another Cosmic Power. Draw to have six cards. Let's see. Do I get the Expert Belt or not? That is what we're digging for this whole time. Um, but we actually see a Mass Attack once again. Mistake on my part. I should definitely um, have Leaf Guard up there. But here we see a Super Scoop Up. Tails, if many of us has, we would have saw Kenton just pick up that Gyarados so quick. Here we see a Yixir from Kenton. Draw until we have seven cards. Another Super Scoop Up. Heads. So I, even if I Leaf Guarded it, I mean, I guess it would have made a difference because um, he. Um, <clears throat> Still wouldn't knock me out here. But here we see Yuxi and it gets a, I think it's a, a Warp Energy. Cyclone makes your opponent switch. And a Warp Energy makes your... I'm not sure. It's one of the ones... There's the Expert Belt. The next card was the Expert Belt. That's pretty crazy. Um, but it, I forget which... Is that Cyclone or... I don't know which one it is. Alright, so we see another uh, Grass Energy come down. Hopper come down. Um, you actually see Goldfish there come down too. Or Goldfish is there. You haven't seen the Goldfish. Goldfish or Team Fish Knuckles. Alright. So, I think that's we see a, a Rosanne's. Not Rosanne's, or Bebe's. Oh, I think it's the Bebe's, actually. Sorry. Bebe's is... Put your put a card from your hand into the deck and search deck for a Pokemon. It's a pretty cool supporter. I wish we kind of had it nowadays. So, we'll see what happens here. So, we actually see a Leaf Guard. Finally, I'm Leaf Guarding. So, that this time, Ken can only do 60 to me. Unless he drops his own... X, or, 70 to me. Unless he drops his own Expert Belt. So, we see the Cyclone energy. I, I think it's Cyclone. It makes me where I have to switch my opponent, my active Pokemon with one of the bench Pokemon. So, it's one of the annoying, thing, annoying things here. Here we see a Felicity. Discard one card and draw three. If he discards another, draw four. Um, it's just mostly for early game to use to get rid of your Magikarps. And I think Ken has three prizes left here. So, it's pretty bad for us. So on my turn, I send him the Jump Luff without the energy. Here we see a Rosane's Research. Um, basically you get two basic 
energies and or Pokemon from your deck. And uh, I think the crucial thing here right now is we we see I don't get any, any energies right now. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking for energies here. So we're looking, trying to see. I still haven't got a card with Roseanne's Research. Trying to decide what to get, what's all discarded, what's all in the prizes. And uh, yeah, you're going to see something kind of interesting here. So we need an energy to actually attack here. And we, yeah, we don't get anything. Yep. Alright, so we see Retreat here, and we're going to see a mass attack for a knockout here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I think it was 10. Here we see a Pokemon Rescue, which says get a Pokemon out of the discard pile. And here I just scooped the game, or Kitten actually won. And we see I have three Grass Energies left. I don't have any more Night Maintenance either, so I kind of just lose the game. I have three Grass Prizes, which kind of stinks. And we couldn't get the Expo early. But hopefully enjoy the game. Thanks for watching the best 2 out of 3. I'm sorry I only went to game 2. That's my fault. Not playing the best to my ability. But hopefully enjoy. Please subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment down below. Thanks once again. Have a great day. Alrighty, bye.